Koenji, a character who is expected to contend for first or second place even among the elites, and at the same time, he's the most eccentric character in the series. Though he seems to move freely and casually, there might be some kind of purpose behind his actions. This time, I'll look into Koenji's true goal and identity. Firstly, I want to say, I think Koenji is considered the masterpiece of a second educational institution created by the Kijima faction. Now, why would I think that? To explain this, let's organize what kind of person Koenji is and what abilities he possesses. Koenji's profile listed on the official website. He belongs to the Koenji concern, one of Japan's leading conglomerates. He's an unbound individual, the epitome of freedom, and simultaneously, he's eccentric. As he does not take classes or exams seriously, his true abilities remain unknown. However, he hints at possessing remarkable academic and physical capabilities, earning high praise from some students, including Ayana Koji. This briefly covered his profile, but overall, he's a monster on par with Ayana Koji. Not only in terms of academic and physical abilities, but he's also a short sleeper, can solve professional level FMA problems, possesses extraordinary talent, and more. If I were to describe him in one word, it would be a genius or a bundle of talent. Words like differences in DNA and talent are frequently used even in volume zero. And I believe this is deliberately contrasting Ayana Koji being a creative genius by portraying Koenji as a born genius. However, Ayana Koji being only a creative genius is a little off, but that's a topic for later. Furthermore, when reading the volumes, one may not have paid much attention to the setting of Koenji as the only son of a conglomerate known as the Koenji Concern. However, this position as a financial figure has now become an important aspect of the story. In this way, Koenji is a student who harbors the highest potential comparable to Ayana Koji. Moreover, with his position as a financial figure, he holds significant sway in the future development of the narrative. Now, where exactly did he acquire such abilities? He's considered to be on par with Ayana Koji, the masterpiece of the White Room. However, readers who have seen Volume Zero should understand the environment in which Ayana Koji was raised. Therefore, Koenji, who possesses abilities comparable to Ayana Koji, is unquestionably an extraordinary existence. And judging from his abilities so far, Koenji probably falls into the category of a gifted genius. However, even so, it's unlikely he could contend with Ayana Koji without the right environment. So back to what I said at the start, I'd like to explain why I believe that environment to be from the Kijima facility. Towards the end of Volume Zero, Aina Koji's father, who had been abandoned by Naoe, learns from Tsukishiro that the Kijima faction had been secretly operating a second educational institution as part of their policies. From here on in, I'll refer to this as a Kijima facility. From Volume Zero, an advanced new junior high school is certainly one of his main operations, but at the same time, he was working on a similar new plan behind the scenes. In other words, his second maneuver was already in motion. It wouldn't have been desirable for him to have that plan come out in front of public. As just mentioned, Tsukishiro informs Aina Koji's father that Kijima is already establishing the Kijima facility as a second policy. Additionally, considering at that time they were planning to halt the operations of the White Room, we can assume that the purpose of this Kishima facility aligns with the White Room. In other words, it's the create elites that can compete globally. Furthermore, it seems that this Kijima facility began operating around the same time as a white room. This means that they are also children of the same generation as Ayana Koji. Moreover, both the advanced junior high school and the Kijima facility are policies of the Kijima faction. So, it wouldn't be strange at all for someone from the Kijima facility to enroll in advanced junior high school. In fact, it would be a natural progression. Also, it was somewhat questionable why Koenji, who is the epitome of freedom, would be confined to the advanced teaching high school for three years without leaving the premises. However, if enrolling to the school was integrated into the education curriculum of the Kijima faction, then it seems inevitable that he would have to comply with it. On a meta level, I think the likelihood of characters from the Kijima facility appearing is quite high. Koenji is a character who constantly generates discussions, but information specifically about him is still relatively unknown. However, in the preview for episode 8 of season 2, there's a conversation between Koenji and Mi-chan that hints at his childhood, which can be treated as canon.
私は私さ生まれた瞬間から最高にコールな人生を送っているよ<笑>もう少し具体的に聞いてもいいですか国内かな国外かなえじゃじゃあ国外はアマゾンの密林でサバイバルをしたりアメリカで射撃練習をしたり中国では武術をスタイリッシュに経験したりしたねへへーあで,でも中国に行かれたこともあるんですね私中国出身だからなんか親近感が湧きました<笑>奥深く非常にエレガントな国だまたいずれ挑戦したいものだね挑戦In this way, Mi Chan seems completely taken back, but this conversation provides extremely valuable information about Koenji's past. It's mentioned that Koenji gained various experiences in different genres, even during his middle school years abroad, which include martial arts, survival training, and shooting practice in America. Furthermore, From the question of whether it was domestic or overseas, we can anticipate that he has also had a wide range of experiences within the country of Japan as well. But let's return to the point. It's mentioned that the Kijima faction's newly established second educational institution, or as I like to call it, the Kijima facility, shares a similar purpose with the White Room. In other words, Its objective is likely also to be to develop elites that can compete globally, like I just said before. But the White Room adopts a method of providing elite education under the principle of completely isolating and thoroughly controlling those who are born there. So, how does the Kijima facility approach this? While these are some of my personal opinions, the portrayal of Kijima's good nature in Volume Zero and the fact that director Sakanagi supports the Kijima faction suggest that they don't employ inhumane methods. Like the White Room. And considering this along with Koenji's middle school days, they may employ a method of exposing individuals who inherit genius genes to various fields, domestically and internationally, to provide elite education accordingly. As opposed to the White Room, which employs a thorough education method that ruthlessly discards everything else in an inhumane manner, the Kijima facility might have adopted a policy of exposing individuals to various environments and fields. To provide elite education, thereby contrasting with the White Room's approach. And if Koenji is considered the masterpiece among them, alongside Aina Koji, it wouldn't be surprising if their abilities were matched to some extent, whether that be in intelligence or strength. In recent developments, in both the main series of Cult and Volume Zero, politics and factions has become more prominent. Among the students of the Van Zuchung High School, there are several children of influential figures. First, There is Sakanagi Arisu, the daughter of director Sakanagi. And then there is Kanzaki Ryuji, the son of engineer Kanzaki. Kiryu in Fuka, the daughter of the Kiryu family. And Ishigami Kyo, the son of the Ishigami group. It seems that most of them are affiliated with one of the factions mentioned earlier. Sakanagi seems to be associated more with the Kijima faction, while Kanzaki and Ishigami are linked to Aina Koji's father's faction. As for Kiryu, it's still unclear. But it appears to be a prominent family. And by the time Cope began in Volume 1, Koenji had already been revealed as the only son of the Koenji concern, one of Japan's leading conglomerates. However, it remains unclear to which faction Koenji's concern belongs to. Naturally, just like the White Room, there are likely companies that have been invested in the Kijima faction. Considering Koenji's middle school days, his family's background as a wealthy heir, and his presence at Advanced u j u n High School, it's possible that the Koenji concern invested in the Kijima facility. And in return, they allowed their son, Koenji, to receive elite education at the facility. There's no strict requirement for Koenji to be affiliated with a faction, but considering the setup, it's quite plausible and can be easily led to future developments. Therefore, based on the aforementioned evidence, I conclude that Koenji is a masterpiece. Of the Kijima facility. Now that we've examined Koenji's identity, let's touch up upon Koenji's relationship between Mi Chan, who have various connections. In y o u t u b e Volume 10, Koenji mentions that he met Mi Chan in the past and received some kind of kindness. In return of this kindness, Koenji seems to have treated Mi Chan kindly at Advanced s u j u n High School and sometimes even helped her. Although Koenji describes the kindness he received from Mi Chan as something insignificant that doesn't need to be remembered, it's clear that they had some interactions before. Mi Chan immigrated. From China to Japan during her middle school years due to her father's job. Meanwhile, Koenji gained experiments in martial arts during his middle school years in China. It's highly likely that they met while Mi Chang was still living in China. Furthermore, 
Mi Chang is a highly cultured and academically proficient student. Even Aina Koji acknowledges her as a capable individual when he sees her as a high school student, attributing it to her parents' education. Perhaps Mi Chang's family is also a prominent one in China. Whether this aspect be explored in future developments remains uncertain, but it's something to look forward to. Now that we've considered Koenji as a masterpiece of Kijima's facility, let's think about what his goal is at advanced future in high school. But some people might be thinking, what goal? He seems just to wander around freely. However, it seems that Koenji is also up to something behind the scenes. So first, let's look at Koenji's actions and achievements so far and what they have in common. Koenji often doesn't participate in exams or events, but there are clear commonalities between his participation and non-participation. When Koenji does participate in exams, it's either because first, the risks of exposure as a penalty of the exam. Second, their private points as a reward for the exam or event. From this, we can deduce that first, Koenji is avoiding exposure, and second, Koenji places importance on private points. While these might seem obvious, we need to look into why he focuses on this. Because while Koenji acts freely, it's evidence that he's up to something. So first, why is Koenji avoiding exposure? While Koenji acts freely, it shows a minimal movement in exams where the risk of exposure looms. Considering Koenji's future, explosion would generally not be a concern. However, in U2 Volume 10, when threatened by Aina Koji, Koenji has shown reactions indicating serious resistance. Koenji's participation in exams where explosion is a risk and his further resistance against those aiming for explosion suggests that he has some reason to avoid explosion and this might be key for the future events. Now second, why Koenji prioritizes private points? Another point worth noting is that Koenji has achieved success in several exams such as the cruise exam, deserted island exam, cruise ship event and the second year sports festival, all of which offer private points as rewards, especially in the island exam where a substantial amount of private points and even protect points were offered as a reward following back to him not wanting to be expelled. It was the only exam where Koenji showed his true capabilities as well. From this, it can be inferred that Koenji is engaging in battles where he prioritizes private points as well. However, unlike other students like Durang or Hashimoto, Koenji doesn't accumulate these private points he earns. Instead, he spends them, which is also another interesting factor. With this in mind, do you think Koenji is aiming for class A? It was revealed in volume 8 that Koenji had devised a plan to acquire 20 million points by purchasing private points from 30 students nearing graduation using his financial resources. Although this plan was thorned by Nagamo. What's important here is that Koenji had the intention to graduate from class A. In other words, it's not entirely implausible that his goal might have been the privileges of class A, such as a guarantee of further education or employment. Generally, aiming for the privileges of class A is a normal thing for students in advanced during high school. However, Koenji is the son of a wealthy family known as the Koenji conglomerate and is even mentioned as the next president. Also, Koenji himself stated in volumes 1 and 8 that he has no interest in things like class A because he is the ear of the Koenji conglomerate. However, in year 2 volume 6, when questioned by Horikita about whether he has no interest in rising to class A, Horikita says, do you really have no interest in rising to class A? To this question, Koenji responds with a laugh and return to the classroom. It's a somewhat ambiguous reaction, but it's also true that he didn't explicitly say he has no interest. His move to aim for class A still leaves some questions unanswered. Now let's take a look at how Koenji uses his private points. Since entering year 2, Koenji's comments and ideas about using private points have been getting weirder. Let's take a look at YouTube volume 6, which featured the sports festival. Koenji responds to this question. Does that mean you're motivated to finally help with? I've made some money from the deserted island test and the treasure hunt, but why would I ever omit a chance to make some more? As far as I'm concerned, there's no reason not to participate. Now to add on to this, this translation left out one line from Koenji, which is crucial. And that line said, now is a time when I'm spending quite a bit of money. As Koenji mentioned himself, he acquired a large sum of money during the island exam before the sports festival festival and the treasure hunt game during the cruise, and the total amount would come to 1.5 million points. The island exam and the cruise took places in July and August, respectively, while the sports festival was around October. In other words, within just over a month, Koenji likely spent close to all of these 1.5 million points. Frankly, this alone falls within the realm of, well, it's Koenji reasoning. However, Koenji states that he wants private points because it's 
now a time to spend money. While this may be related to the fact that he was making deliveries to Mi Chang, who was hiding away at the time, those deliveries would amount to only a small sum of those private points. Therefore, it's still reasonable to assume that Koenji was spending a large number of private points and acting behind the scenes during this period. But now let's take a look at what he stated in YouTube volume 10. Unfortunately, I'm not in the need of money at the moment. I don't want it. Next, his statement suggests that he has money now. And he had mentioned the need for money during the sports festival. But a few months later, at the beginning of the third term, he made this statement. And to add on to it, there's this statement from Ayana Koji. Of course, if he said he was saving now, that would be the end of it. But considering he just recently bought a big TV, it was possible he was still squandering money. It might just be a lie, a convenient excuse not to take the points from Micha. Considering Ayanakoji's speculation and witnessing him actually buying a TV, it's reasonable to assume that Konji regularly spends his points. So, it's naturally unsettling for him to claim to not have financial concerns when he's in such a state. Also, just before this, Konji had contact with a filmer student named Enoshima from Class 3B. Moreover, he finished his businesses in just a few minutes and left the scene. It's confirmed that this wasn't a typical date. Perhaps at this time, he received a large number of private points from Enoshima. In any case, having connections with Class 3B seems likely to be deeply involved in the issues of 3D students like Nagumo and Kiriyama. It's something to keep an eye on. In this way, it's convincible that Koenji is strategically spending private points as one of his tactics. Koenji is a son of a wealthy family and is also groomed for the position of future president. If so, he must understand the financial uses and their associated effects very well. So, if Koenji is strategizing by using money, which is an effective way to influence people, it would suit his characteristics. This time, there was a solid depiction of the interactions between Koenji and Ayana Koji. Moreover, the content delved deeper than before, shedding some light on Koenji's strength and the reasons for his presence at events to Chung High School. In the conversation between Ayana Koji and Koenji this time, the analysis of their basic specs and how they relate to power dynamics was depicted. The difference in basic specs between Ayana Koji and Koenji looked like this. As expected, in terms of academic ability, Ayana Koji who possesses a vast amount of knowledge from the white room takes the lead. While in a straightforward context of strength, Koenji's innate physical abilities surpass Aino Koji's. Furthermore, Koenji cites high adaptability as a reason for his self-perceived high value. As seen in Aino Koji's time in the white room, adaptability is also the cornerstone of Aino Koji's strength. It's very intriguing that both of them regard adaptability as their greatest weapon. These two are clearly depicted as being adaptive geniuses. So there's a high possibility that a serious showdown between Aino Koji and Koenji will take place in the future. Additionally, there was a statement that sheds light on the reason why Koenji is at Advanced Tutorial High School again. Koenji states, Personally, I think it would be more meaningful to revisit China and devote myself to training rather than entering the school. But there are circumstances preventing me from doing that. Koenji mentions that there are circumstances that necessitate his presence at Advanced Tutorial High School. This raises doubts about the relationship between Koenji conglomerate and Advanced Tutorial High School, possibly linked to the Kijama faction. But now finally, let's consider why Koenji might be aiming for class A if he indeed is. The first possibility is to showcase his abilities. Frankly, given Koenji's personality, this would seem like a reason for him. The brand of Advanced Tutorial High School holds significant sway in various content due to it being government-led. When Koenji eventually inherits the Koenji conglomerate in the future, graduating from Class A at Advanced Tutorial High School could carry weight even in the business world. Considering this, it's plausible that Koenji is aiming for class A. The second possibility is to change his own future. This is akin to being the same situation as Ayana Koji. I speculated that Koenji is a masterpiece of the Kishima facility. However, it's highly doubtful whether he would continue to blindly follow the policy indefinitely. If he decides to seek future freedom at Advanced Tutorial High School, it could be intriguing. While graduating from class A at Advanced Tutorial High School doesn't guarantee everything, it certainly opens up possibilities. Ultimately, we don't know which option Koenji would choose, but considering him as a free spirit, he might want to create a situation where he himself has the power to choose. Furthermore, this development could provide a reason for him to clash with Aina Koji, who would transfer classes, which I'm eager to see. But Koenji is one of the characters who first appeared alongside Aina Koji, Horikita, and Kushida in the opening scene of Volume 1. I'm pretty sure there will be a moment when the spotlight shines on Koenji in the future. So I'm looking forward to understanding his thoughts and motives. Let's wait for the latest volume.